Hey, you, you're watching this, so it's probably not a stretch to assume that you use the internet, probably like every day, right? So have you ever wondered about this giant thing that you're taking part in? Well, if you live in the US, like me, you're part of the 81% of Americans who use the internet. If you compare America to the rest of the world, you'll find 10 countries where more of the population has a good connection. At the top of the list is South Korea, where 97% of households have internet access. That's only 3% of homes disconnected. For comparison, a quarter of the households in the US don't have access to the net. Not to mention, the speed of the web in South Korea is ridiculously fast compared to an average connection in America. Like, in South Korea, you could download all six Star Wars films in HD in a third of the time it would take you to download them in the US. I know what you're thinking. Internet access isn't as simple as who's using what, where, and at what speed. It's way more complicated. Luckily, this project at the Berkman Center called Internet Monitor took a bunch of information from around the web and broke it down by country. Where'd you think I got all these numbers from? They don't just look at adoption, speed, and quality. This index also looks at literacy, gender equality, and price as a percentage of how much people make on average. Which is how I know that South Korea's internet isn't even that much more expensive. That's it. I'm moving. But this index is just one part of how Internet Monitor breaks down the internet. Because when you're talking about internet access in countries like China, Egypt, and Afghanistan, there's so many other factors. Like, for example, censorship. So cool, China, you have internet access. But it also matters what people can see once they get online. Internet Monitor also has a blog and a bunch of reports on specific issues related to internet access, like this one. Arab religious skeptics online. What? Apparently, there's a whole community of Arab atheists, but they can only really exist online because of all the political, religious, and social constraints where they live. The internet is kind of huge and filled with so many unbelievable online communities. And I've only really just glossed the surface. So, Internet Monitor, go check it out.